making your left, westbound Marina Drive, westbound Marina. Speeds of uh, approximate 50 miles an hour. Go for a pit, pit, pit. There we go, pit, pit successful. Pit successful, show me your hands. Show me your hands. All right, hello everyone. It's Joseph here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So firstly, thank you everyone so much for 450 subscribers on my YouTube channel. We're almost halfway to a thousand subscribers on the channel, so thank you everyone so much for your support on the channel. As always, I really do appreciate that. So today we are going to be returning to Alas Pitiafla with GTA 5, Los Angeles Police Department first response. We are going to be using one of the three new vehicle packs made by Jay Cook Grime from LCP4. This is going to be the Blank County Sheriff's Office pack. Today we are going to be patrolling as a canine officer as well. It's been a long time since we've done one. And I think that's all about it. So you're going to see his LSSD pack, his LSPD pack as well. And in the future, um, may I may do a Vespucci Beach Patrol as well. So be sure to be on the lookout for that if you guys want to see that um, Vespucci Patrol episode um, in the future. Uh, please be sure to tell me now down in the comments below. So... Uh, today we are going to be patrolling around St. Shores, Harmony, Grapeseed, where else, wherever else this batch might take us. So, hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you so much for watching as always. That car is kind of tailgating that uh, other car there, so we're going to be checking him out there. That BF injection is right on his bumper. It's going to be the one to the right, so we're going to be pulling him over for tailgating. It was extremely close to the bumper of that other vehicle. I need a play check. There is a, I think a BCSO unit there. Very nice Target to see. License plate. 99 Union Niner, call Niner, Union, Union 470. Call Union 470. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Okay, so this is an on-road friendly vehicle. No information at all. Lately, we've been dealing with a few of those. So we'll try to ask the driver if they have permission to have it. We'll see what their backstory is and we'll try to get to the bottom of that. Well, if it's the right side of the road. 117 traffic, we're going to be on the 1011 northbound Panorama Drive off of Cholo Springs Avenue. That's going to be on a two door gray and color BF injection. I believe occupied times one, no 32. So thankfully he pulled over at the right spot there. So yeah, as you can see, um, my radio and body camera, I did change those for the radio slot there so I can use them on my vest as well. So that's, that's pretty awesome there. I decided to throw them on my vest as well because the default EP one was a bit a bland and I decided why not use the body cam along with that as well so the EP body camera and radio mods are made by Anico if I can recall correctly from LCPDFR so be sure to check that out as well I don't know why there's so many units that they just drive around with the uh, lights and sirens on I think that's possibly from Rich's scripts I'm not quite sure why they do that. They might be responding to a call, similar to ambient AI callouts, but I don't know what they're doing. They they tend to do that. They were never doing that before I installed Rich's uh, scripts, so maybe. I don't know. I'll have to check that out, though. The only thing I do like about Rich's scripts is that the ambient officers who are nearby, they will attach to your call as well especially if it's a shooting or a pursuit or something like that too which is which is very nice all right hello sir name's officer wilson with the blank and sheriff's office there is simply traffic stop today sir it's for an issue with the vehicle's plate okay so i'm going to need to see your draft license proof of insurance registration for your vehicle please i need to turn down my headphones it's so obnoxiously loud i can't hear myself talking Okay, so uh, Jim Goodman is his name there, DOB 319 1988. Hello. Okay, so is there any reason why you're not 
providing me with registration or insurance for the vehicle. Let's see, is he wearing a seatbelt? That's that's good. Okay, so background, no. I think it's under documentation. Okay. So, sir, this vehicle comes back with no information at all. Do you have permission to drive this vehicle? Okay, if you have a physical paper of a bill of sale from the previous owner or the DMV, um, you can provide me with that, okay? So, do you have... Do you happen to have a bill of sale? Your dog ate it and you're actually waiting for the DMV to send you another one? Yeah, there's that charger again. He's just driving around with lights and sirens on, which makes no sense. Like, it would make sense if he's going to a call, but he's, but he's not. Interesting. Okay, so if you don't have the bill of sale, do you own this vehicle? No, you don't? Okay. So why don't you just step out of the vehicle for me then, okay? 117, can I get another 32 for my 1011? We're going to be northbound, depending on our drive. Alright, sir. Come back here with me, okay? Now, is there any reason why you're driving around a vehicle that does not belong to you? I right, can stop right there. Step right in front of my cruiser there, okay? So, how did you claim this vehicle? Did someone let you borrow it? Perhaps? So, where are you headed to with this vehicle? Anywhere you like? Okay. We got another Crown Victoria with us, I believe. Yep, another Crown Vic. Okay, uh, do you have anything illegal? Any, I should know about any weapons, any narcotics, anything like that? No, sir? Okay. Is this just being visually and audio recorded? Do you understand? Okay. Documentation questions. Okay, so... Did he just slid? Or slide? Yeah, he just slided. Okay, that made no sense. So he's not the owner. I don't know who the owner is because there's no owner. There's no way for me to check the VIN because there's no VIN scripts to check that. So technically, since there is no VIN script, um, we can't trace it if it is stolen. So since it doesn't have any registration or insurance, it's just going to be classified as an unroadworthy vehicle. Okay, there's no files on record marking it as stolen, so that can't possibly be stolen. So we're going to uh, let him know that it's going to be unroadworthy and that, that it needs to be impounded. Okay, sir, you know you're not supposed to be driving it? Okay, well... Um, you, you do know that you drove with intent that you met it to, okay? Uh, do you want me to call you an Uber? Okay. Okay, so today I'm going to be giving you a citation for driving an unroadworthy vehicle with intent, okay? So just sit tight for me, okay? So since he admitted to illegally driving this vehicle on a public roadway, since the car is on road ready, uh, we are going to be giving him a notice of that. No probation, no prono warrants, no weapon permits, no citation. I'm sorry, yeah, he does have a citation record. 4-27-2019, a dog must be unleashed in public and no arrest records. So he's pretty clean, nothing about uh, on road rally vehicles in the past. I'm gonna say it's not a it's not this equipment, perhaps. Yeah, here it is. It's under equipment, not documentation. Um, I'm gonna give him actually yes. I am going to be giving him a notice to appear in a court of law. For the unroadworthy vehicle, 
Okay, we do not know if he lawfully has possession of it. So he is going to be needed to talk to a judge with that. Uh, since he did have intent to drive it, even though he's not the owner. And since it's unroadworthy, okay. So sir, today I'm going to be citing you for driving an unroadworthy vehicle with intent. I'm going to be asking you to attend a court hearing for this notice. Okay, so your citation, you have 15 days from today to take care of that. And you have 30 days from today to attend the court hearing regarding this incident. Okay. So here is your copy of that citation. This is not a mission of guilt. This is just saying you have, have acknowledged and received the citation and will take care of it by the due date. Okay. You also have to go to the court hearing because you did admit to driving this vehicle with intent, knowing that it was on road worthy. Okay. So you need to talk to a judge. You, you should try to get proof of ownership. Okay. Or at least have proof that you were supposedly borrowing it without trying to steal it, okay? So you are going to be investigated for that uh, reason, okay? So you're not going to be placed under arrest today, but the vehicle is going to be impounded and it's going to be seized, okay? So once you have signed the citation, you are free to leave, okay? Now get out of here. Can't get back in my car, sir. Can't get back in my car, sir. Thank you. All right, so we can search this vehicle here. Now, technically, technically, since it's an on-road ready vehicle, um, that gives us proper cause to search it, right? So, for example, since this was a lawful traffic stop, we have probable cause to search it, right? So, if we didn't have probable cause for a traffic stop. Or a reason to pull this vehicle over in the first place, then it will be unlawful to to search it without a warrant. So we are going to be searching that here now, and we're going to be towing it as well. So a uh, box magazine containing 30.5 ACB rounds, box of 20 Valdel Grassi handbags, USLA. Wait. ULSA, or that backwards, uh, ULSA student ID card, a it's also magazine containing 15, 19.9, wait, 9.19 mm rounds, seven magazines of 0.50 AE ammunition, unopened bottle of the Mountain Whiskey. Now, he doesn't have a weapon permit, but I don't think it's illegal to possess ammunition without a license. I don't think that's illegal to do. I don't think so. So we're just going to confiscate those for evidence. Uh, we are going to be presenting that to the judge for the court case. Now from the original to unroad really vehicle to then now uh, he has ad additional ammunition and rounds even though he doesn't have a, uh, a firearms carry permit or any firearm licenses period so it could be his it could be someone else's we really don't know so this is just something to have are you good there my guy all right this guy can go he can go he almost just rear-ended this vehicle here so we can search the weapon ammunition and rounds that we have found and see if it is stolen or valid Paul 4 4 28318 no 31A okay so Alec Houston I don't think that was the driver I don't think so it was someone else with a different name so thankfully that wasn't his but still for the rest of that for the rest of the ammunition where are you going my guy at least he's okay yeah, I guess that truck blocked him in so that would make sense to take the dirt 117, you can show me code for today. Show me 108. So yeah, so just an unruly vehicle stop turned into a little um, a little investigation for a possible stolen car too. So um, illegal hunting within city limits, we can take that. 
let's see, where is this? It's going to be on Marina Drive there. Just off of, uh, what is it? Algonquin, I believe. So we got reports of a illegal hunting in progress. So we are going to be responding to that as well. I think it's going to be directly in this area. It's going to be the last road to the right. What is he doing? 117, show me 1023. Sir, can you drop the weapon? Line County Sheriff's Office, can I talk with you for a minute, ma'am? Put down the gun, sir. Can I talk with you for a minute? Line County Sheriff's Office. Well, that tow truck, sir. Do you have a hunting license I can look at? Also, do you have a firearms permit for your handgun? Okay. Okay, sir. Can you just drop the gun for me, please? Sir, can you just drop your gun? Okay, sir. Because you still have your gun in hand, I'm going to be detaining you for my safety and yours, okay? So, at this time, you are going to be detained for my safety and yours. Not going to be placed under arrest. I'm just going to be detaining you because you are still holding on to your firearm, okay? And I've asked you several times to drop it, okay? I don't know if it's still loaded. I don't know if it is or not, so I'm going to be checking that out for my safety and yours, okay? So I'm going to be checking your hunting license in a minute, okay? Do you have anything illegal on you that you know about? Any weapons, psychotics, anything like that? Open a bottle of Pisswasser beer, or Pisswasser lager, okay? So he may be under the influence while hunting, which is prohibited to do. You cannot hunt while intoxicated. Alright, 117, can I get a 1032 for a 1011 assistance? Technically, this is a traffic stop, but... Is there any reason why you parked your truck in the middle of the road? My units cannot get to the scene because you are impeding traffic. Is that your truck there? Okay, I'm going to grab on to you so you don't run from me, okay? Alright, just sit tight, sir. Now, is there any other animals that you did... ...that you did hunt for? Is it just the, the bird there? The goose? I thank you for the backup. So, we got an illegal hunter... Hunting within city limits, and he's also impeding traffic, and possibly, uh, he possibly, uh, let me see here, is yeah, he's under the influence of possibly alcohol or narcotics, I believe. I think it was alcohol, right? Yeah, he had he had a pisswasser lager on him. So, when we placing placing him in my car for now, we're going to be, uh, firstly, checking the weapon. We're going to be checking the weapon, and then we're going to be checking... Oh yeah, there's no weapon. I mean, he had the gun on him, and I arrested him. So I don't know why it wouldn't go into my inventory. Um, next up, we can check... I know what to do. We can check him directly for his... Uh, hunting... Hunting license, okay. But the way Stop the Pet works, you cannot, um, you cannot check his hunting license while he's handcuffed. So you have to release him. Don't move, sir, don't move. Don't move, don't move. Stop right there. Where are you going, sir? Where's your hunting license? Can I see? Alright, sir, at this time, you're all going to be placed under arrest. For hunting without a hunting license, okay? You're also going to be placed under arrest for lying to a police officer, okay? So he doesn't have a hunting license, he's hunting within city limits, and he's hunting with a firearm, which is not illegal, but it is very strange. Ways of a hunting method. So, um, yeah, I don't know about that. This ambulance is really out there. 
We can get animal control here for the uh, bird there. We can also get a 27-29 on the uh, Sand King. We can also search it. Uh, zero two two zebra Adam Sam four two three zebra Adam Sam four two three a traffic violation expired insurance I'm sorry expired registration um uh, rights card American flag with the phrase um uh, okay spray painted in green across it open bottles of Larney's stout beer. Um, open bottle of serve as a Baracho beer. Okay, so uh, technically everyone does have a right to their First Amendment. However, it's very uh, it's very disheartening when someone trashes your country that people do a serve for and protect freedom of every single day. So that's it's not it's not legal to you know express your rights of hatred right you don't have to like everything but you don't have to use such violence for everything that's it's just it's just one of those things like it's as long as it's peaceful it's okay but like if you're trying to be violent and express something in a way that's uh like spreading speech and hatred in a way that's kind of violent or rational, um, I think that's against the law to do. There are protests. As long as they're peaceful, you're not going to be in trouble for them. Voicing your opinion, right? You're not going to be, you know, placed under arrest and thrown in jail for that. But uh, if you do it in a way that's, you know, violent or in a way that's... Um, Not necessarily peaceful. I guess that can fall under. Um, I guess that can fall under malicious. I guess um, it's a bit hard to explain. Like everyone does have their right to the First Amendment, but still, uh, that doesn't explain the. Um, that doesn't explain it being okay for violence or whatever it is, in in that type of regard, but. I don't know, it's, it's a bit of a stretch for me in LSPD of Hour because we may not know his true intentions. If it was 5M, for example, we could talk to him. We can try to get the reasoning behind why he's doing that. But if it's, you know, LSPD of Hour, right, we can't truly know what his intentions are. If, it's, if he's trying to just send a message, if he's trying to be violent or just not agree with something. There's so many different reasons. Um, to why people can do that. So he does have a handgun permit for long guns and handguns. For a concealed permit, sorry. Um, no arrest records. 7 20 2019 fishing area restricted. Or fishing in a restricted area. 7 18 2019 driving on the shoulder. Uh, no warrants, no permission, no pro. Humdress 3175 Cassidy Trail. DOB 11 27 1968. Um, so, he's going to be placed under arrest for, fi uh, not fishing, but hunting without a license. And he's going to be charged with hunting within city limits. So I'm going to say hunting within this restricted land. Um, I'm not really... I'm not really up to date of when exactly hunting season is because I think it's typically through the fall through the, through the springtime. I don't I don't know any other times that they that they would do it, but it can be a bit confusing, I guess. But yeah, I would have to do some more research to see when exactly hunting season is I know for hunting games they can take place in the winter or the spring or fall for example but um, it's just it's a, it's just a bit hard to know without 
actually um, doing it myself. So I think that's mostly all about it for him. He did have a lot of alcohol containers that were open. Um, I don't think he's DWI or anything. He's not, you know, slurring his words. He's not necessarily um, behaving in a way that's that's intoxicated to where it would prohibit him from, you know, behaving normally. But I'm I'm going to be giving him a notice to appear in a court of law as well because he he does have a lot of alcohol containers. First and foremost, and then he's also beginning to hunt, and he also is doing it within city limits, while also without holding a valid permit. So he's going to need to talk to a judge about that and see why he's doing that in this point in time. Assistance required in Sandy Shores. You know, people live in Sandy Shores. This isn't some type of hunting area, right? So we, we still have to protect the citizens first and foremost and uh, get everyone safe and sound. So show me code four ten eight. Yeah, that was a fun little call though. I did enjoy the code four. No further units required. Yeah, this um, having a burn flag. Um, a lot of people do have a lot of hatred for letters for politicians in all those pretty far search results you know so I'm kind of like used to that but there's just so many people that that have them on their person like it's it's so unrealistic like everybody has some type of crappy letter that they have that's violent or you know seeks hatred or something um, everyone okay everyone either has some type of flag that they've uh, vandalized or whatever um, I, I really don't know like as long as the legally have possession of the item that they vandalized is it really vandalism if they break their own stuff I don't think so if it was someone else's property then yes I would uh, charge them with uh, vandalism when they unlawfully break or ruin someone else's uh, personal belongings as well but yeah if they have it themselves if, if they are the owners of it it doesn't really make sense to charge them with something that they owned that they broke you know what I mean it's, it's just weird to really think of it like that but it is what it is it's, it's very strange you know in, in the world of policing uh, there's just so many different ways you can think of as to why someone is doing something but it, it can really be anything, and LSPFR is so vague sometimes because you may never know what their true intentions are, unlike 5M, which is why I miss 5M so much. Because with 5M, you can question civilians, you can get the backstory to why they do it, or if they plead the fifth, and from there, it's just a matter of what the original reason to them doing it was, or if, if they never had any true intentions to to do it if they just did it out of spite you know uh, but yeah that's why I love 5m too because you get to have those real interactions and just have the randomness happen so we are going to be responding to Marina Drive for a possible sheriff stolen vehicle One seventeen, show me in a 1080 with the stolen police cruiser. Mm. I thought that morning it was going to cut in front of me. Uh, we're going eastbound on Gonkong Boulevard. 117 will have primary with radio traffic. We're going to be going north Nilland. Going uh, south Marina Drive. Southeast Marina Drive. He's very reckless. He is 1050 with a Saddler continuing westbound on Gonquin Boulevard. 117, can I get an air unit started to my location? Requesting an air unit. Let's get an air unit because this is one of our own and I'm not going to lose this guy. That was a very fast unit. That was a very fast air unit to uh, catch up to us there. We are going to be taking a right westbound Algonquin Boulevard, passing 
like a race. Making your left, westbound Marina Drive, westbound Marina. Speeds of uh, approximate 50 miles an hour. I don't know why the speed radar light shuts off in the pursuit. I really don't get that. We are continuing westbound Marina Drive, westbound on the Marina. I would usually let Air One take callouts, but they're pretty quiet right now. He slipped us there. I don't want to spike my own unit because that that would that would just damage police property, you know. It's gonna cost us a fortune to do that. You know, spiking a suspect's reliquial is justified by the police department, you know, because they are fleeing to elude, especially those who are armed and dangerous. But uh, for our own units, um, I'm not gonna compromise destroying a police car just for one suspect, right? Who's not even, you know, extremely violent. He's just fleeing to elude. He's not shooting anyone or anything. But uh, yeah, he's still pretty violent because he stole an emergency services car. But he didn't do anything more severe than that. So the risk isn't worth the reward. Now we're going to make continuing south. Marina Drive, south on Marina. We're just making circles at this point. Watch out for EMS. We're going to be making a left. Eastbound East Joshua Road. We're going to be heading towards Grapeseed. Okay, so our pit timer should roughly be three minutes now. So another two minutes we should be able to pit them. We are approaching Route 13. We are approaching Union Road off of Route 13. Watch the intersection here. Uh, we are continuing east, Union Road. Watch out for these two cars here. Alright, so the motor unit took primary there. He did take primary, so we'll let them... We'll let them take over. Now, usually, um, we, we will have motor units always first in pursuit. But I don't want the motor units to kill themselves, you know what I mean? They usually do anyway, so... I just try to take secondary in most cases because... Uh, in LSPDFR, they just kill themselves ramming into stuff anyway, and I, I still want them as backup, but it, it's not safe for them in first place. Especially in a pursuit. Like, if they crash once, they're dead. In 5M, I would certainly most, um, without a doubt, let them take primary. Almost always on time. Especially for other motorcycle uh, pursuits too. But in LSPDFR, it's just not worth it most of the time because they do ram into stuff and they do... Um, they do end up crashing because of them themselves. But this guy, he is doing pretty good. He does have some discipline, thankfully. He's not rear ending anyone, he's not crashing into anything, so that's, that's good for him. Which is pretty rare, honestly. Alright, so another minute or two, we're gonna be pinning him. We're just waiting for a good road to do it on. I'm surprised that Morty Unit is surprisingly driving very well. It's it's a bit rare for the Morty Units to drive this well in LSPDFR. We're continuing eastbound CV Road. Got a little close to the sign there. 117 to the primary unit. Requesting permission to take primary. Let's take primary after this car passes by. Just 
take primary now. We're gonna go for a pit now. Go for a pit, pit, pit. There we go, pit, pit successful. Pit successful, show me your hands. Show me your hands. Don't you move, show me your hands. 1070. Clear that car, make sure the car is clear. I'm gonna clear that car, make sure no one else no one else is in here. Um That car is clear, dispatch. Our car is clear. We got one at taser point, one taser deployed. South C V Road, stand by. One seventeen, we got one set fifteen, you can lift the signal one hundred. That was a nice pit, dude. That was a nice, nice pit. Man, um, I I knew. No registration we can disregard. I had a bad feeling about letting that motor unit take primary because they always usually crash, especially during mid pursuit, and. I did not want to call for a backup unit just to solely have them crash, right? Um, it, it just doesn't make any sense to call them if they're going to crash into something anyway, right? So since they were able to not uh, not crash, and they were able to avoid that, uh, that's that's a good thing. Is this party unit really taking this car? Can you get out of there, my guy? This. The car is destroyed, but he's still trying. He's still trying to take it. I don't understand. Like you have your motorcycle, why don't you just take it? You were driving it for. I don't know. I don't understand AI. Plane ticket to Los Angeles. One hundred and eighty millimeter bottle of GHB in solution. I don't know what that is. Um, Maltov cocktail made of the Mount Destroy Company bourbon bottle. Okay, so he has Maltov uh, material on his person, so. 117, thank you at 10, 28, 29 on the heads of Fernandez, DOB 112, 1986, common spelling. Hey, I need a second unit too because he. I can't put him in my car because of my canine. Let me see. Can I? I didn't think so. He's he's bugged out, so I don't I don't know. Like I I couldn't recruit the other guy because this guy's uh, this guy's on me. So. You're good. You're good. Can you take him for me, please? So we're gonna charge him with uh, fleeing to a loon, stolen. Biblical possession, and I think that's all about it. He wasn't excessively speeding over 100 miles an hour or anything like that, so that's that's good for him. What's that t-shirt record? 11 14 2020 arrestable offense for disturbing the peace. So I think that's all about it for him. I think that's all about it for him. What else is there? Still in possession of a emergency vehicle. I think that's all about it for him. All right, uh, 117, show me code for tonight. Attention all units, code for no Why is my canine out of the car? There we go. I was probably because of my police computer. I probably held the key, that's probably what I did. 